Hello, everyone. We've been thinking about this for a long time, and we think it's finally time that we announce that we're going to change over all of our print farms, all the thousands of machines that we're building, over to Ender 3s. So let me explain this reasoning for you right now. Over the last few years, Slant 3D has been developing 3D printers for mass production printing. We've made them consistent and maintainable and reliable, but we really think that Ender 3s have really set the bar of what a 3D printer should be. Of course, they're lower cost, but then all you have to do is put in about five hours of engineering time to upgrade them, and then they're usable for about the next six months. And that's a really good trade-off when you're trying to do mass production for long periods of time and keep consistency for customers. It's not that hard to have to take the whole factory and just rebuild it every few weeks or so. And then of course, the Ender 3s are bed slinger machines, which we all know are fantastic machines and they're perfect at making really tall, thin parts. And of course, as the wobble appears up further because the bed is wobbling around, that's something that people can work around and should just get used to the idea. Because 3D printing is a different process. You should design for the process. The other real big benefit of Enders is that they don't have a run out sensor. Remember a couple videos ago when I talked about how filament has like little hooks at the end that get caught in the runout sensor, since an Ender 3 does not have that runout sensor, we don't have to worry about that problem anymore. So it's a really good design change to the machine to make sure nothing ever gets jammed in it again. And then the icing on the top, each one of them comes with their own SD card that only has a tiny bit of malware on it. And that's a really big benefit because it's a free SD card. Those things can sell for as much as 15 bucks online. And this is really about saving cost. And SD card is the only way to communicate with it, which makes it perfectly scalable for 3D printer farms. All you have to do is have one to 10 guys running down the lines, changing out SD cards and setting the restart button every time. We think that this is a really important expansion for the company and we're gonna double down on this because the Enders are very easily one of the best machines out there. Yeah, Bamboo Labs and Prusa have their thing, but they're overpriced and overcomplicated and they're not as good as everybody thinks they are. The Creality, a true proven machine, as soon as you modified it for like the first three weeks of use is something that we really wanna rely on to produce high quality parts over long periods of time. So follow us into the future as we continue to push Ender 3s as the mass production standard for 3D printing farms. Have an excellent April 1st, everyone.